Uh, yes, my name is Ran. I'm a researcher uh, in Biobusiness Arena, and uh, today I would like to talk uh, one of our projects uh, holding BBA. It's called uh, Paper to Replace uh, Plastic. Uh, we have been heard a lot of uh, things about plastic today. It brings the convenience to our daily life, but also creates a lot of problems to our environment. Um, this is a picture uh, shows the beach around the Baltic Seas with a lot of uh, plastic and plastic debris around the beach. And uh, the reason that we, uh, there's also a lot of research based uh, against those plastic uh, issues. Uh, some uh, study about the materials, want to make it more sustainable materials to produce plastic. And some uh, studies about the recycle process, uh, how to make the recycling more efficient. But uh, the aim of our project is uh, to improve the existing materials uh, to replace plastic in certain applications. The reason that we want to do that uh, is to, to create a simple loop that from the sustainable starting to uh, easier recycling. And just uh, from the title of our project, we want to choose paper, and we hope paper can meet the requirement that we are looking for to, have a, uh, to replace the plastic in the future. And uh, this is something about our project. It's a three-year EU project, start uh, this April um, till 2020. And we got the finance, uh, uh, the fund from EU funding, Lansdingit, SCA, and ExxonMobil. We also get in-kind support from Mid University, HL Display, LB Produ uh, Productor, and uh, Edward Stone Street. The technique under the hood is uh, actually quite simple. We use some solvent-induced uh, phase change uh, to cellulose and make the mechanical properties of cellulose or paper-based materials uh, change. Then it's similar to thermoplastic. Then we can mold the papers or give it different kind of mechanical properties. In this uh, project, we have uh, four different areas. The first one is yarn made from paper. The second one is uh, about 3D forming object. The third one is a list and profile. And the fourth one is a surface treatment. And I will give a little bit short introductions about each area. During our per previous studies about paper yarns, it uh, gives a positive uh, hint that uh, paper yarn can be used in different uh, applications. And we have produced some paper yarns uh, from a laboratory yarn twisters in Boros. The possible applications uh, for paper yarns can be uh, some furniture, cur uh, furniture clothes, curtains, and uh, the jeans that Marco showed this morning and he's wearing now. And uh, also maybe some more intimated uh, clothes, fabric like the underwear, showed at the right in the pictures. Um, based on our studies, we tried uh, different applications on different paper materials. And from the uh, left corner, you can see uh, different lines that shows the result uh, from strain and load curves that with different kind of treatment or modifications. The, compared with original paper yarns, we can either improve the strain at break or improve the load at break. This is some basic uh, uh, play around with the mechanical properties. But what we think is worth to mention is that the up, uh, top right corners, that we can create some fibrils on the outside of the paper yarns, which gives the paper yarns uh, a similar kind of fillings as the cotton. We think that's uh, quite important key features uh, to extend the paper yarn into more uh, wider uh, fabric field, like uh, clothes and underwears and so on. Mm, the second area, that 3D forming object, that as I mentioned previously, for th the aim for this project is to using existing materials. So we are trying different kind of paper, like craft liners, uh, uh, paper from dissolving pulp, copy paper, filter papers. We use different uh, paper source to see how good it can be molded uh, with our treatment and so on. The methods that we're using is uh, deep drawing and press formings. We, use, we choose these kind of methods. It's because it's widely used uh, in nowadays plastic uh, factories, which they produce those plastic packagings. So in case if we succeed in the futures, it will be easier for them to shift the materials from plastic into the paper-based materials. To better understanding the pressing process, we also try to build uh, our own digital controlled press in Tetriet. 
then we can have a more flexible press curves and we can check different parameters, the moist to the pressure and the press time temperatures to have a better control of the overall press process and find the optimized conditions for each type of uh, paper source. But that one is still under construction, so we hope uh, in the near future so we have uh, a big uh, toy that we can play with. Uh, in the third field, the list, it's quite similar to the 3D forming object, but more like a 2D object that we notice with this treatment, we can uh, improve the stiffness or the strength of the paper materials, or we can laminate different layer of paper materials together to improve their uh, mechanical properties. So these kind of list profiles can be used uh, for applications nowadays using plastic, but require a little bit of strength compared with uh, conventional paper, which might not meet the requirement. In the third one, the surface treatment, um, I have uh, short videos to show. This is a uh, 100% cellulose based material, uh, not 100% cellulose based material, but it's paper based materials. And uh, you can see from these videos that I have a few drops of water, or quite a few of drops of water. And uh, when you turn it around, unlike uh, normal papers, the water doesn't go into the paper structures, but rather stay on the surface of the papers. So I think this is a pretty cool that we have uh, paper based materials without any plastic coatings or other inorganic additives on the surface, but still maintain the waterproof uh, properties. So if you can imagine that in the future, so we might don't need to separate the plastic coffee cup lid with the paper cup, but we can throw it all together things, uh, through the paper recycling uh, waste beans because it's made 100% from the paper. That's uh, what we mentioned about the easier recycling process uh, for the futures. Um, it's only a beginning of the project since we start this April, so it's around half a year, but we are already get a lot of interesting parties that uh, start participating in this project uh, compare, uh, besides what I mentioned previously about those supporters, like uh, Neuron Das Nickery, uh, Dumshun Fabric, Woodnote, and Sonsva Hospitals. We also get a lot of questions from other big companies like Mondi, Igasons, Sonsbrooks about what we are doing and what we can do with this kind of treatment. So we are, uh, we, we are quite uh, glad that we got those kind of uh, questions and interestings, and we know that we cannot do everything. So if anyone is interested in what we are doing in the project or want to participate uh, in all kinds of ways, you are more than welcome to drop by uh, Detriat or the BBA. And if you are just want to know something more now, you can come to the poster next rooms and I can explain more about what I'm doing in this project. And uh, thank you for your time. <laughs>